according to Sappho, love sounds a little dangerous. Good morning. Welcome to Lost for Words, where we explore great women poets. I'm Sarah Woods, and today we are exploring Sappho, the first female poet. She is a lyric poet from Greece, from the Isle of Lesbos. Today we're going to be exploring some of her poetry about love. We are going to explore two small little fragments of hers where she explores the dangerous side of love. It's funny, when you read these two poems, you leave them feeling like, oh wow, love is so powerful. That's intense. But then you walk away, and after some time, if you reflect on it very much, you will, it'll leave you wondering whether she means it as a good thing or a bad thing. Um, so we'll just go jump straight into these poems. They're short little poems. I am using Mary Barnard's translated version of Sappho, um, and this poem is number 44 in her book, and I, okay, I'll just go ahead and read it to you. It says, without warning, as a whirlwind swoops on an oak, love shakes my heart. I'm going to read again. Without warning, as a whirlwind swoops on an oak, love shakes my heart. So in this first little fragment, we have someone who is about to be surprised by love. And it says, without warning, so suddenly, no time to prepare, no time to get ready. You see this vision of a, whirl, a whirlwind, or what makes me think of like a tornado, swooping down you know, from the sky and then just like consuming this oak tree. And you imagine this oak tree with all of its strength trying to keep its roots locked into the ground and not be completely destroyed by this whirlwind. But she says, without warning, as a whirlwind swoops on an oak, love shakes my heart. That is a very powerful image. So we have this whirlwind coming down and shaking this oak tree. And she says, love is like this whirlwind. Love is like this tornado that comes down and without warning, no time to prepare. And it just shakes my heart. Um, so that's a pretty, First of all, it's a very short little fragment. It's very, it leaves you with a feeling of suddenness, um, of intensity, something powerful, um, and something almost, and something destructive and incredibly intense. So this is not like a gentle summer breeze kind of love. This is hold on for dear life. I I'm not going to die <laughs> kind of love. Um, so we'll stop with that one and I'll go over to this other one. It's short also. And it says, With his venom, irresistible and bittersweet, that loosener of limbs, love, reptile-like, strikes me down. So here we have another image of love springing itself upon someone suddenly that there's no time to prepare that you're walking along and here is this you come upon the snake with his venom irresistible and bittersweet that loosener of limbs love lept, reptile like strikes me down so now you have Sappho and she is comparing She's compared love to like a tornado or a whirlwind. Now she is comparing love to a reptile that has venom. So you think, you think of a snake. And if you get bit by a snake, usually when, you, when I think of getting bit by a snake, I think of 
like walking through the woods, walking through a field, walking through some place and suddenly you've stepped on something that you didn't know was there. And she says, with his venom, with his venom, irresistible and bittersweet, that loosener of limbs, love, reptile-like strikes me down. So here's this person who's been bit by a snake, but that snake is love. And she is comparing the snake's venom, which would normally kill a person or make a person very sick. She's comparing that venom in the snake to love because once that snake has bitten you, it's irresistible. There's nothing you can do to get rid of it. And she calls it irresistible and bittersweet. And it says that loosener of limbs. So you imagine this person's body like slowly kind of like going limp, um, which would be normally a reference to getting sick or dying or your limb rotting off, I would imagine. Um, beginning the process of rotting. <laughs> Um, but here she's been struck by love and she's saying love is like a venom. So you can almost imagine a person who's suddenly been sh like bitten by the snake and there's nothing that she can do about it. That venom is like moving through her body and it is loosening her limbs like you almost feel like she's like drunk on this venom and it's slowly killing her um so i love i love both of these little fragment poems because when i first read them i was like oh that's so powerful that like she really i love that she took something that you would normally think of as negative and then she compared it to the intensity of falling in love, the intensity of love, um, the suddenness of love, the like helplessness of a person falling in love. And at first when I read it, I thought she meant it as a good thing. I was like, oh, she's trying to take some like, trying to take some negative image and turn it into something positive. Um, but she was just using it for powerful imagery. And maybe there are some kinds of love that are dangerous. The kind of falling in love where you suddenly have no control, where love has completely gripped you and is almost killing you um, with its venom. It's just funny, I feel like she has a way of describing this that almost makes love feel like it's something you would want to steer clear of <laughs> or something you don't want to happen to you. Um, I guess I just feel like there's different kinds of love. And I guess I'm curious what you think. If you think this is supposed to be a kind of love that is positive, like if this is like a real genuine love that is happening between two people where it's just so powerful that she can barely withstand its um, intensity. Um, but to me, this almost makes me think more of infatuation than it does love. I don't know about you. Um, I guess this makes me think, I'm like, is this love, like, are these feelings that she's describing love? Is that what love does? Does love swoop down on you like a tornado on a tree? Is that what love does to your heart? Does love strike you like a snake with venom um, that you can't resist? Is that what love does? I guess I don't really know the answer, but I think it's worth thinking about. I think maybe that love has different, I feel like love is one of those like complicated things that if you look at it, it has lots of different angles that you could look at it from. And it has lots of different seasons. Like 
maybe there is a moment or seasons where people at the beginning of love where it could be like that where it's that sudden intense oh my gosh hold on for dear life here we go <laughs> I'm falling in love <laughs> please don't let me die um and then as love becomes more seasoned and as it ages is it more like you know like a plant that's like growing into something is it always is I just don't feel like love can always be that intense or should it be like if, if you think about love if it was always as intense as she just described it if it stayed like that it really would kill you probably <laughs> I feel like I mean you can't live in a tornado you can't live with snake venom in you all the time <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think we're going to keep this really short. Is this love that Sappho is describing or do you think she's describing something else? But thank you so much for joining me and thank you, I think it's Greg Setsanis for allowing me to use your music um, in these Sappho videos for the intro. Um, I really appreciate that and it makes these videos so much fun. Um, anyway, I will see you guys again next time. I hope you have a great week. Goodbye.